Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteslam reviewer, and I'm here to review Puff, Wonders of the Reef. And this is a new documentary from Netflix, and this is a nature documentary based, basically focusing on the Great Barrier Reef. And, you know, a lot of these nature documentaries you'll see, especially with, like, animals and stuff like that, where it kind of goes along a little story with a particular animal in a particular narrative, and... There's, like, big music, and sometimes it could be a little silly and campy. And this particular film is able to shirk most of those kinds of tropes that make those documentaries just fun. And not something that's going to, like, stick with you for a long period of time afterwards. And this one really does focus on the animals, all these creatures under the sea... And it does have, like, you have this little puffer fish, because, you know, it's puff, and going through the ocean, but you do get to see a lot more of it, like, a lot of that stuff's dialed back. And director Nick Robinson, I think, does a fine job of making sure that you can at least take this documentary seriously. It's only like an hour and two minutes, but there's a lot to learn, there's a lot of creatures to learn more about, and... The focus is more on that, and the Great Barrier Reef is such an interesting and diverse ecosystem, and it's so interesting learning about all these weird different creatures all over the place, whether they're, you have conches, like um, those marine snails, or such a large variety of, like, hermit crabs, puffer fish, lion, uh, lionfish, everything in between, and even, like, there's one particular redfish that's just, like, and you can laugh at it, but the film doesn't, like, make a do-do-do-do, like, something silly going on in the background. It's, like, it gives the focus on these animals without trying to manipulate the audience too much. And you have Rose Byrne, who narrates this and does a really fine job, and obviously she's Australian and has a connection with the Great Barrier Reef, and, like, this is where she's from. And, you know, it's a sweet little story of this puffer fish trying to grow up and trying to survive in this dangerous setting where there's so many different predators. And what's interesting is, like, it comes off as an action film, like, this is an hour of straight action and suspension tension of this little pufferfish trying to get through all these different places, avoiding different animals that go to blows with each other. And that's, a, that's why I'm saying, like, this is like an action documentary, but, you know, it's with animals. And I think that's really interesting. And it does take a bit of time to give you a message, especially about the Great Barrier Reef, which has been slowly dying and losing its muster, losing its color, and from the rising ocean temperatures and stuff like that, just like, it gives you some time to get, add a little bit of depth. I'm not saying this is like an earth-shattering documentary. It still falls into a lot of those expectations that you have of a narrative-based animal documentary. But it's a fun romp, and it's easy stream, hour and two minutes, and... I got a lot out of it. I learned a lot. There's some solid tension throughout. Robinson and Byrne do their jobs well, and so does a little pufferfish. But those are my thoughts on Puff, Wonders of the Reef. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.